I love you, buddy. Um, I will never forget the hangouts in your apartment, um, the parent calling party that that turned into, which was such a beautiful gathering and always such good warm vibes. Um, standing up and doing poetry in your living room. Um, you're just always the most warm and welcoming human being. And I love you. Sounds like you're going to have an amazing time driving across the country. Uh, I can't wait to spend more time with you soon. I love you, bro. You're the best. Happy travels. I hope to see you before you go. Hey, Birdie. The time has come. You're out. <laughs> Maybe you're back in. <laughs> what? Maybe you'll be back in. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. You know, life is a journey. Um, I don't even know where to start. I guess it started at 229. Maybe even before that, it started, you know, at Lawrence Towers on the balcony with DJ Pete and uh, Chris D. And fast forward, here we are. Too many memories to, to really kind of go one by one. Um, you know, I think there was definitely different phases, you know, like the, the 229 phase and then the, you moved up the street to 14th Street. There was different phases even in that apartment. I mean... But not too far from Union Square. Yeah, probably. not far. <laughs> um, we're very excited though. You're ending on a high note, you know, like, uh, like Peyton Manning going out on top. So uh, we wish you the best wherever it may be. You know, there's a lot to look forward to and celebrate this year with the wedding in Hawaii and everything like this. And hopefully in Israel in the summer together. Yeah, my aunt likes that too. Where, right? Yeah, and that's where everything started with uh, the birdie and I in Tel Aviv. Oh yeah. So we should definitely have a special, another special moment there. Um, we love you. I love you. And to the next chapter in the life journey. Tweet. Hi, Al. There's Chazzy in the background. He says hi, too. Uh, we've had so many memories in New York City. I don't really remember all of them. My favorite memory is probably being at Google and eating all the cereal after we smoked on the roof and uh, being able to kind of just say our goodbyes, our goodbyes, as if I was there, too. Um, to your last day there after eating many meals in that cafeteria and um, spending quite a few hours together uh, working on so many different projects. It's been such an honor to live in the same city as you. Um, I can't even believe I'm back here and now you're leaving, but we had such an unbelievable experience together when we first especially also throwing parties in your backyard and getting you sponsorship from coconut water for those parties and doing all those events with, with what, was, what was the Hanukkah parties? I forgot the name with Chris at the Hill and there's just too many memories. I love you so much. I'm so happy that you are finding happiness and I think that's something that you're best at is always being able to find the happiest of moments wherever you are and I have no doubt that You'll do that wherever you're going. I love you. Mwah. Alex, when I think about you, when I think about New York, I think about peanut butter and jelly, inseparable. You guys go together so well, and yet there is so much adventure in your heart, and I know that the path that you and Lauren are now on, especially over the next couple of months as you road trip across the country and bop over to Hawaii is going to be unlike anything else that you've ever imagined. In your own words, it's big. It's really big. And to, um, to be able to say goodbye to you and be by your side as you ship off on this new adventure, I'm so proud to have had the moments that I've had with you in New York. I mean, you have made the last uh, year and a half in New York even more incredible. And I think about the, um, the moments that we shared in our Space Odyssey, Odyssey journeys, which weren't in the city, but that <clears throat> created such a deep, deep lifetime, uh, lifelong brotherly vibe that we were able to carry back into the city. And um, sitting in such monumental New York places like Coffee Shop, may it rest in peace, and having a couple of brews together, and just being able to go uh, 
along the spectrum of the, the funny stuff, the emotional stuff that, that we're both going through. You're such an amazing um, colleague, friend, brother, partner in crime. And, um, you know, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm jealous of all this time that Laura's going to get to spend with you on this road trip and for the rest of your lives. Um, um, the time that we've shared here in New York has been really special to me. And I know this is just the beginning. Uh, I'm here wishing you very well on this, on this voyage. And I can't wait to see you on the other side. So much love to you, brother. Hey, Alex. I'm uh, giving you a shout out from Cambridge, where I'm teaching this month. Um, but I wanted to reflect on our time in New York together. Um, two New York memories come to mind when I think about you. The first is actually out east um, on our epic night when we ended up... Uh, Go, uh, we ended up crashing somebody's party randomly um, after going to Rush Myers and then um, being on a beach at 4 a.m. in a dance party, as I recall. Um, the, second, uh, the second memory that I have from New York with you is um, the night that we did a dinner party at our place and you and I conspired to end the dinner party with a limo picking us up um, and taking us all around New York. That was a, that was a blast. So um, really grateful for your friendship. You have uh, become a part of my New York family and um, I'm very, very grateful for you, buddy. What can I say about you, Alex? I love you so much. I feel like when I start to think about how much I love you, it makes me like tear up inside because you're someone who has become a staple human in my life and also just like in my New York City life. Um, I know we've retold the story of how we first met and became such good friends, but beyond that first moment where you made me feel like you were my family right from the moment that we met, you've just like been there for me over the last several years um, in moments when I felt like I really needed a brother. I'm totally gonna cry. But um, yeah, just in moments that were really hard for me that I felt like I really needed a brother and I really needed a person, a guy in my life to show me like what kindness and love and care and um, you know, all of that from like a male figure really looks like. And you know, whether it's like seeing how much you love Lauren now or like just having a conversation with you after many, many breakups that I've had, I just feel like you have been there. You've been a key, key person in my life. So I love you so much. I could not possibly love you more. I'm like noticing that the lighting isn't very good right now, but whatever. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just thinking about all of it. And like the breakfast club with Q, like we're gonna have to have a breakfast club whenever you come visit or hopefully you'll move back here. Um, you know, and just all of that, that's been so great. And just so many gatherings in your apartment. And yeah, I just love you so much. I'm so, so, so grateful for all the moments that we've been able to, you know, share life together and do life together as friends and, you know, friends, soulmates, and it's just really amazing. And I'm so excited for all that we get to celebrate together in the coming year. I love you, babe. Alex, brother. Since the moment we met not too long ago, thanks to our girl, Steffi B, you've just been an extraordinary friend. Your passion and love and spirit for life are just extraordinary and contagious. And you brought me and like family into your community since I moved to New York. And it's just been amazing to get to know you and Lar. And you guys need to hustle back. So have the most incredible trip and get back to the 100 blank blanks very, very soon. Much love, love you guys, and uh, go crush it. Alex, my man, my bro, good morning from sunny Orlando, Florida. It's such an honor to be sharing a tribute video to you, one of our favorite people, our favorite humans. Um, you have certainly made my experience in New York over these past years unforgettable and truly special from the, the day that we walked into your Union Square apartment to all the days that we spent building Liquid Talent, to the companies that we've been a part of, the communities that we've helped build and nurture, 
and just all the amazing moments that we've shared together. I am honored to call you uh, one of my dearest friends, my family, my brother. You're an amazing human being and you have made my experience in New York truly unforgettable and I know you've made, that, made it that way for so many other human beings here as well. I am wishing you a wonderful journey ahead. Um, I'm so happy that you have found your, your person in Lauren. You guys are a beautiful, beautiful couple and I look forward to all of the moments ahead that we get to share and celebrate and grow and honor this journey that is life. I um, know that t this year is gonna be an amazing year and no one deserves it more than you, my friend. Um, what can I say? I, I love you with all my heart. You're the best and I am just uh, can't wait to, to be with you and celebrate with you throughout this year. All right, buddy, I'll see you soon and much love from Florida. What's up, Babylon? So for my NYC experience, you've brought a lot of, uh, you know, adventure and spontaneous moments. And that's what I really admire about you is your ability to connect people. And that's for sure been, you know, the number one thing that you've brought besides your loving nature. And you're just a character, man. You, you really, really are a character and in the best way. And that's why I love you. And what was the other question? Hold on, let me think. It was, oh, memories. So memories, I would have to say is, I mean, we all love your speeches, dude. I think those moments when you're in the circle and you're just on one and you're just in it, you know, and you're preaching and you're almost like a modern day white Martin Luther King Jr. dude. Those are the moments that I will forever remember. And we'll have plenty of more in the future. And I love you. And I'll see you tonight, man. I'll see you tonight. All right. Yeah. Alex! Alex! And Lauren! And Lauren! Because it's Lauren's going away too from New York. That's right. And we love both of you. So much love to both of y'all. Alex, I didn't know that you were the mayor of Union Square, but it actually makes a lot of sense because my memory uh, that I really treasure is yourself, Colin and I, walking back from Dot and you and I getting to know each other for the first time. And, uh, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, who is this guy? I like this guy, I like this guy a lot. And then we get to Union Square, of all places, if I had known you were the mayor, it would have made a lot of sense because then you proclaimed that we were going to be a thing. And <laughs> sure enough, here we are. You're a thing. Oh, that's a beautiful story, babe. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Glad yeah. you can be a thing. So beautiful. I have not really accepted the fact that you're leaving. It's just like a temporary hiatus, and then we're just gonna keep seeing you in amazing places all over the world like we normally do. When I think about some of my most memorable times with you, they've been in amazing locations <laughs> all around the world. Um, but one of my favorites was we were in Scotland at Nyla and Andrew's wedding, another beautiful couple that we love and respect. And uh, it was, we were doing like an early morning hike uh, up to the top of this this cliff, and we're like, yeah, you gotta make it, Alex. And you had had a late night <laughs> the night before, maybe a sunrise, not sure. I don't think it was quite a sunrise, but it was that level. And you fucking woke up and made it there at like the crack of dawn. And you're like, like wow, you did make it. Like, what would my best self have done? You asked yourself that question. I like, would have gotten up and gone for the hike. Because you said that you would. Like, this is a man of his word. He means what he says and he gives the greatest gratitude speeches of him all time. Love you, dude. So epic, man. And the last thing I will mention is just how much of a gift uh, everything was in November. You're the man, dude. Thank you so much for, for everything there. So awesome. We love you and uh, you will forever be in our hearts, although we may forget about you because you will leave the city. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Love you. Love you.
Alex, Alex, Alex. This tribute means a lot to you, I can only imagine. I have no idea what order I'm going to be following in, but I, I want to share with you that I've said this to your face, but I would also say it in front of a room of a thousand people that you are the happiest guy I know. Uh, I just got back from listening to you and Lauren at the assemblage, uh, actually at a touch point talking about uh, your love story, and every single person in the room looked at you both and wanted exactly what you have, which I believe to be so incredibly rare. Um, and I remembered you at a time during the Liquid Talent days when you were on the struggle bus. And this future was not, uh, this reality that you're living in right now was not, I think, even remotely a thought of yours. And I am so proud of you for going out and getting it. And I cannot wait to see you continue on your journey uh, in love. And uh, I am just proud uh, of what you've been able to step into. And it's really, honestly, an inspiration to, uh, to me. And I know a lot of others that uh, we can kind of, uh, and hope uh, to achieve the level of happiness that I, I see you've done for yourself. So, love you, bud. Singing the, the news. news. I'm, I'm leaving today. today. I, I want to be a part, part of it. it. New York or Hawaii. New York, Hawaii. Those vagabond sandals. <laughs> 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 my long arms in hair. Right through the Song and sandals! And find the king of the sand castle! <laughs> top of top the beach! Of the and do nothing on it! These little beach blues oh, are swimming oh, away! Oh, I'll make oh, a me. brand new start up! Maybe I'll get home! If I can make it, make it I can make it anywhere. It's up to you, New Hawaii. Alex, what's up, buddy? Love you, brother. Uh, I'm sure New York City's gonna miss you, but you know, since I don't call New York City home, um, and actually you are moving to Kauai to my family's house, um, you know, I guess I'm happy about that. Um, it's gonna be an incredible move. I know it's just another step on this amazing journey you call life. You're a citizen of the world, so New York will always be home, but uh, trust me, my dad's organic farm in Kauai is going to make you feel like a whole new man. So excited for you, much love brother, and congratulations on taking the next step in your life and journey. Hi Alex. I just wanna let you know that one of the joys of my life has been being your friend. You are someone who, when I see, I know my day just got better. Um, I feel so inspired by the journey that you've taken over this last year and this new decision that you are going to be driving across country with the love of your life and starting this new life together. It has been so lovely knowing that you are just either across the bridge in Manhattan or down the street, um, knowing that your support is so close. 
but I feel like we have one of those friendships that it won't matter where you are on the planet because you will always be in my life and you also will be part of my future. So I just wanna let you know that I love you. Thank you for being part of my New York story and I can't wait to see the next journey that you take. Love you so much. I was in New York and I was talking to this guy, Stefan uh, Cesarini, and he was talking about this guy named Alex Abelin. And he worked at Google and he had just laid Google Fiber and he talked about him like he was the mayor of downtown New York. And uh, I will always remember meeting you, understanding why he spoke to you that way, because you basically are old school, real New York. And uh, I'll always remember your packed parties uh, that always seem to overflow into the hallways. I will always remember uh, Dan's memorial of being there and somber moments, uh, remembering our brother together. And uh, I'll remember walking from Second Ave over to the baths. And uh, yeah, man, most of my time in the village has been spent probably with you and at your place and in the bath. So I love you and uh, you will be missed and hopefully you're passing that incredible apartment off to someone awesome. But uh, I love you and I know the next step of this journey is gonna be even better. And you've got quite a co-pilot for the journey. So I love you very much and I know the best is yet to come. And I look forward to surfing some boats with you and Kauai very, very soon. Holy cow, Alex. I remember the first time we met on a big deck on a huge yacht, battling for ping pong supremacy. We've come a long way, and every time I speak with you, I'm inspired by your dedication to making yourself and the world a better place. You're on the right track, you crazy son of a gun. Keep it up, I'm gonna miss you, and I love you. Happy birthday. Oh my God, what an incredible honor and opportunity it is to be doing this little video for you. Even though a video cannot express the sentiments of my love, my gratitude, my appreciation for who you are, Alex, and what you've done for me in ways that only the cosmos can speak of in the ways that they can. Finding the true friendship of abundance and gratitude for you has been an incredible experience that has made me a better man, a better friend, a better lover, a better business person, and overall a better human being. Alex, thank you so much for who you are, for who you continue to be, for what you stand in the world, for being a beacon, for being a pillar, and for consistently having the ability to follow through on everything that you set your mind to. Thank you for being this, this incredible son in our lives. Thank you, brother. Alex, very uh, excited to hear about this move and most more importantly, this cross-country RV tour you're doing. My gosh, you're in Tulsa. I think that's exactly halfway from New York to LA, literally exactly the midway point. I hope to see you then. It's been a good run in New York, love the uh, time we got to spend together and uh, hopefully uh, see you in LA. I'm there all the time. Hey, you guys. So I'm here to answer a couple questions about Alex. So the first one was, how has Alex made your New York experience more amazing? So I guess the easiest answer um, and the most obvious one is that I would have never moved to New York if it wasn't for Alex. Um, I came to New York in May 2011 and stayed with Alex and had a really great weekend and then I moved out in September 2011, so just a couple months later. Um, I lived on Alex's couch for two months while I looked for another apartment which was very nice of him. Um, Alex was definitely my family member in New York, um, probably because we grew up together and I've known him since I was four, so he was um, the closest thing that I had to a family member in the city. Um, I could always rely on him for anything. He was always there for me, um, not only as a family member, but really as a friend. Um, we would talk to each other about everything from careers to relationships to um, just everything that was going on in our lives, all the crazy shit we were doing. Um, we would support each other, get really happy for each other, um, and he was a really good support system. So, um, 
yeah. Um, the next question is, what are my favorite memories with Alex? Um, and I guess just some of my favorite memories in general about living in New York were going over to Alex's house, drinking wine, smoking some weed, um, and talking or listening to music um, or comparing music videos, comparing Rihanna to Beyonce and having a debate about who was hotter, um, having political conversations, talking about religion, um, a lot of my intellectual conversations happened at Alex's and that's where I went for those conversations and they were really important. Um, my favorite memory probably um, of my eight years in New York with Alex was probably our last night with Dan. Um, we went to a restaurant and then we went to a really fun bar and then we went out dancing and it was just a really great group of people and a really great vibe and um, it was really cool to spend it with Dan. Um, and Alex together, and um, it's something that I'll always remember, um, and it was really special. So it's crazy that Alex isn't gonna be living at 122 anymore, um, and that we both won't be living in New York, but I'm sure that we'll continue these great 122 Hidalgo vibes wherever he ends up, um, hopefully Los Angeles. Um, but yeah, bon voyage, Alex. Uh, New York will miss you. I'm sure we'll be back. Love you. What do you say when your North Star is not going to be found at home anymore? Lord knows, I don't know. But I'm going to fucking miss you, my dude. This is the end of an era. I wish you and your beautiful fiance endless happiness. I can't possibly thank you enough for everything you've given me. From Burning Man, to Sober January, to good friendship, good times, good laughs, and a whole lot of love. And while I don't have a video in the North Pole, I still have the North Pole in my heart. Here's to you, I love you man. Safe travel, safe journey. I'll see you back home in August. North Star! Well, looky looky who's all grown up now, Mr. Big Shot, Alex Ablin. Brother, we are gonna miss you out here in the city of lights. The city that never sleeps, the city of dreams. So many great memories, bro, countless to even list off, but just a couple of highlights. Moving into 229 with DP, taking over East Village together, going to Google Cafe for lunchtime on the regs, so much so that people started to think that I actually worked there. And uh, that Jay-Z Eminem concert at Yankee Stadium, brand new Yankee Stadium. You know what I'm talking about, brother. Anyways, I love you, man and uh, we'll be here waiting for you. Alex, my brother. What's up, man? I cannot believe I am recording this video, um, that you're leaving New York. Um, I know that you've come and gone, but um, you know, life will definitely not be the same without you here, brother. But you know, I look at these questions that your wonderful fiance uh, put together and you know, just first in general, how you made my New York experience even more amazing. And, you know, I tell this story every time that, um, you know, I meet someone um, that, that is a friend of yours or what have you, you know, how do you know Alex? And, you know, it goes back to the boat in 2011 um, where we met. And, you know, two weeks later, I was moving to New York, not really knowing anybody and, and you know, you took me, you took me in. Um, you were you really the first to kind of show me the ropes in New York, and and I'll never forget that, man. Um, truly, truly appreciated that. Um, you know, made my transition from Chicago to New York so much better, uh, so much easier. You introduced me to so many amazing people. Um, I can't thank you enough for that. Uh, so just you being you, uh, the connector you are, has made my New York experience infinitely better. Um, some of my favorite memories really, um, you know, come about uh, in, at the early stages of, of our friendship, you know, <laughs> our first uh, New Year's Eve together, uh, my first New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve in, uh, in New York, holy moly, <laughs> uh, what a night, uh, transitioning to my first trip out to the Hamptons. Uh, and our, uh, our, our fun times with Mr. Jameson. Um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm just thinking through my head some of the others that 
I can think of, you know, my first Google after hours with you and Dan. Wow, what a night, um, you know, and just so many other countless life experiences that uh, you and I have gone through over the years, um, over, you know, just about eight years now since, uh, since we first met. And, you know, whether it was personal uh, work, uh, the death of one of our dear friends, um, our experiences are, are just something that I'll always cherish forever, uh, the good and the bad. And I'm just so thankful and lucky that um, I have you as a friend by my side, man. Uh, I wish you so uh, many wonderful experiences ahead uh, with your wonderful fiance. I can't wait uh, to see where your marriage and your guys go together um, in this journey that you guys are on. Um, I'm really excited for you, brother. You and I have had a lot of talks just about finding the right one and, and it, um, it just brings me so much joy to see you so happy. And, um, you know, Lauren, I, I just love you for that as well. Uh, you know, he, uh, uh, Alex is, you know, one of the best and, you know, just seeing what you bring out in him and, and seeing the, the difference uh, is, is just amazing. So uh, I love you guys. Um, you know, this isn't uh, goodbye forever, obviously, but you know, we're going to miss you here in New York, buddy. I love you, man. Um, uh, I'm sure I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, North Star. Uh, we are standing outside of the Immigrant, our favorite wine bar, and I believe one of your favorites as well, uh, because this is the site of my favorite memory we shared with you here in New York. Uh, this is where we ran into you uh, by complete happenstance here at the bar, uh, and within minutes you had assembled uh, an incredible team of lovely people, and we had an impromptu party here at the bar. Uh, and that's my favorite memory of you in New York. Um, and one of my favorite memories is the time that we had a group of about 12 or 13 misfits and you got all of us into one lift and then very sweetly asked the driver if we could stop at a bodega to get snacks and six packs and he said of course because you were so sweet to him. Um, and that was one of my favorite memories of a time you really just like took care of all of us and brought us all together. Uh, that is awesome. Two awesome stories of the way you assemble wonderful, lovely people together uh, and come back to New York really soon. Alex, happy birthday! We love you! We love you so much! Woo! We can't wait for all the beautiful things ahead. You deserve all of the love and light that comes your way with your beautiful, gorgeous, Barbie-like wife and... And babies and to baby, come. And we can't to wait come. for the babies Sailed to come. your business. Life is fucking grand for you. I'm so happy for you. We know that our friend Dan is upstairs looking out for all of us and mm -hmm. especially for his best friend Alex. And so I'm so happy that you're just really living the dream and, and living your best life and just all the best. And so much love to you this year and years to come, especially this year because you guys are together. Love you. Love you. Oh, brother. First of all, I'm happy that this is just the first stop on your New York City Victory Tour. Uh, so I'm not crying quite yet. And um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do without our Chief Vulnerability Officer here to remind me of the importance of every gathering, every dinner, every person we meet, and their full life story. But all of that is all because you love so big and I'm so grateful to get to be one of your ride or die adventure buddies. You are the heartbeat of many of my favorite, most joyful and most treasured New York City memories. Um, going to Wayne's Room Tournament in Red Hook and breaking the no dancing rule, uh, even though we might have actually caved in the uh, wooden floor damaged by Sandy because we found awesome people like Andrew Kiffin and Nitika and Carrie Hammer and you know, they couldn't stop us. Um, having a wine dinner with Scotty Blockchain and inspiring us to launch this crazy thing, the little crypto club, and having 50 epic humans jump along for the ride. Um, Avi's going away dinner, the Avi burn, 
uh, when you hosted a timeshare presentation complete with wine and snacks and uh, sizzle reel to convince me to come to Ondalinda. Thanks for that one, by the way. Um, but it's honestly the little moments that I'll miss the most. Morning catch-ups, dinners at my place or yours, hopefully yours, um, impromptu during the day, uh, you know, as long as it's within a three block radius of your apartment, uh, coming by for a toast when Marvin and Larger in town, and then getting to know and love Lauren right alongside you. The great thing is that the Alex and Steph show is unstoppable and also has episodes all over the world. So, as I send you off on your next journey of love and Lauren, I know it will fill your cup in a new way, and that just brings me so much joy. And I also know I will see you out there soon in Hawaii and on the friends are allowed to join now part of the honeymoon. And then at the end, when you move back to Brooklyn, okay, bye, I love you. Hey, I just wanted to just say how much Alex has made my time in New York City amazing because he was one of the first people and one of my first friends in New York City. Um, I met him through Liquid Wi-Fi, and one of the cool things is Tim once explained Alex to me as saying, Alex is the guy who, even when you don't know you need a hug, he knows you need one. And he will always sense your emotion and be able to come in and give you just what you need um, as a friend. And true words never spoken. Um, it's absolutely true. Alex was always the guy when I'd come in and I just, needed that person, that energy, that the right word said, the right mood transferred. He was that guy um, and it just kept me going and he showed me the city like only a California boy could, which is through the eyes of this is still a magical city and you absolutely can't, um, can't do anything but soak up the magic. And I really think that that he taught me to soak up the magic, but also meant that he he learned and caught the fever and and got all the magic that one can get from New York City. So good luck on the on the rest of your adventure, guys. Alex, I love you. From the time I met you in the ocean to all of our adventures abroad and here, you've just been so loving, so supportive, such a dear friend, um, someone who deeply deeply understands and has deep kindness and I love you. Bye.